us a little bit more about what Corbyn's been talking about when it comes to news. Um, so he was basically making two statements. One was about the state of the media, which, as you said, he calls it the failing news media, and one was about the state of the BBC. And what he's proposing is that tech giants like Google, Amazon, Facebook would have to pay a tax or a levy that would then go into funding public interest journalism. And, and the thing here is that he didn't necessarily describe what that public interest journalism is. He mentioned it could go into the BBC, it could go into organisations like the Bureau of in Investigative Journalism, um, to target what he says is the the job that we're not doing and why people don't trust the media anymore. And his other statement was about the state of the BBC and how it needs to be a little bit more independent, how the decisions about where the licence fee is coming from needs to be taken away from the government towards an independent body. Um, the BBC would have to publish um, the socioeconomic status of all of their employees so we get a sense of what backgrounds people are um, working in a public broadcaster in. And in other political news today, we've been hearing a lot about Brexit and what would happen in the event of a no deal. Tell us a little bit more about that. So this was Dominic Rabb, who's a new Brexit secretary who succeeded David Davis. And he basically set out what he thinks people need to be prepared for in case that by March next year there is a no deal scenario. Now, he super emphasised that they don't think this is likely, but nevertheless, people need to be thinking about it, especially businesses need to be getting ready for proposed new customs checks or what software you're going to have to buy or what advice you're going to have to get in. But he also mentions some more random, you could call them normal things that people are going to be accept, uh, um, affected by. So, for example, when you buy something with your credit card, if you're British and you're in the EU, that's going to have a surcharge now that it didn't before. Or even the photographs on cigarette packages are going to have to change because the, um, the, the um, intellectual property for those photos is held by the EU. So little things that are going to have to change in the case of a no-deal scenario, which they still think is highly unlikely, but nevertheless we have to be thinking about. And it's quite interesting timing when they've made the announcements as well. Well, for both cases, so both Jeremy Corbyn and Dominic Raab are, um, Parliament's not in session, we're still ramping up, everyone's coming back next week, party conferences are coming up, the next round of Brexit negotiations is in October, so it's all kind of teeing up to build up the conversation into what they want to talk about. Absolutely, I'm sure it's a topic we've spoken about many times, and I'm sure we will again. Thanks for that, Laura.